Hi, I'm David, and this is What the Print. Welcome to the channel. The idea behind What the Print is that you, the viewer, ask me what to print. Each week, I'll pick something, post what you want me to print in the comments on YouTube, I'll pick something, and I will print it. I'll try to keep it interesting, I'll vary the filament a little bit, I'll also uh, talk through in the video what techniques I used, uh, settings, all sorts of stuff like that. I'll also discuss the hardware, as you can see I've got a CR10 Mini behind me, and I'll post this video uh, every week or two, just kind of going over what I've done. Should be fun, should be interesting, and hopefully we can learn a lot together. For the first one, my wife asked me to print this super cool cat model. I found it on Thingiverse, the link will be below in the description. It was printed using a silver PLA from Giant Arm. I bought this from Amazon for about 20 euro. The light really reflects nicely off this. Although there's no metal uh, pieces in the, the filament itself, it's very reflective. It took just over five hours at a layer height of 0.16 millimeters. One of the things that I did here was I set the, the Cura setting uh, minimum infill area to 100. What that did was areas like this, the tail and these lower legs, they get solidly infilled, so they don't actually use a, a, an infill percentage internally, which means that this tail is very sturdy, it's not going to break anytime soon. When I got into 3D printing, I printed this on my friend's Ultimaker 2 Plus Extended. He lent it to me just so that I could see if I would enjoy this as a hobby. And I printed it in a blue PLA which he had bought from AliExpress, not really sure exactly what it was. I wasn't very happy with the quality of the print. So when I bought myself the CR10 Mini, I decided I was going to print it again, in a slightly larger scale and much nicer PLA. As you can see, it turned out pretty well. Um, material's very shiny, the silver really reflects in the light. There's a lot of detail that came through on the CR10 Mini that wasn't there on the Ultimaker 2 Plus Extended. That's it for this episode of What to Print. Remember to leave a comment below with a suggestion on what to print next. I'll dig through them and pick something. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Ciao.